Hey guys, Metal Driver here, back today with a double review of the Elite Legend Series 15, Lex Luger and Stacy Keebler. On the side, you get images of both figures, then on the back, you get another image, some info on the figure, and the rest of the figures that are in this wave. Alright, so those are the boxes, so without further ado, let's go ahead and open these up and take a closer look at Lex Luger and Stacy Keebler. Alright, and here we have the total package and Miss Hancock out of the packaging. But before we take a look at the figures, let's look at the accessories that they come with. Luger comes with a pair of gripping hands. Stacy comes with a pair of pointing hands. We get a sleeveless NWO Wolfpack shirt for Lex, which is a soft goods material, so this is nice. It's awesome to have a Wolfpack version of Lex Luger to add with the rest of the Wolfpack members that we have gotten over the years. So this is nice, it's got Velcro on the back, so I'll show how, how that looks at the end of the video. Stacy comes with a clipboard that is blank. Looks pretty good for what it is. Some good paint there. Just the plain backside here. And then Stacy comes with a pair of glasses, so I'll show how that looks on the head scans. And here how it looks on both head sculpts. And speaking of head sculpts, here is the alternate one for Stacy Keebler. This has her hair pulled back in a bun. Her bangs are pulled down, so this looks really nice. I think it has a pretty good likeness to Stacy. The paint came out pretty well on the lips, the eyes, and the eyebrows, the hair. Just one solid color. It looks good. The bun is sculpted nicely. But yeah, this is a good alternate head sculpt. Definitely use this for her Miss Hancock gimmick. And then looking at Lex's alternate head sculpt, this is not brand new. We have seen this before. And I gotta say, I'm a bit disappointed because it does not look like they have any true effects printing on here. In fact, if you look at a previous released head sculpt, they're pretty much exactly the same. Just the hair is a different shade of blonde. So yeah, it sucks that there is no Trifex printing on this. To me, at this point with the Elite Collection line, I don't think that should be acceptable. I mean, in fact, we get basics with Trifex printing, so why not this one? But aside from that, the paint does look pretty good on the eyes, the eyebrows, the teeth. Hair is sculpted pretty well. I do like the color of blonde they chose on this one better than this other one that I have. And then look at the head sculpt that's already on Lex Luger. This one is not brand new either. I'm pretty sure this is the one that we got with that three pack that came with Macho Man and Sting. But I'm fine with that because this one is a ponytail one, which is style of hair that he had towards the end of the WCW run, especially when he was with the Wolf Pack. And now this one does have the true effects printing, so it looks much better than the alternate head sculpt. You can clearly tell which one has that true effects paint and which one does not. The lips are painted well, the eyes are painted well. So the eyebrows, you can see the sculpting on the ponytail looks pretty good, looks nice. So this is definitely the head sculpt that I'm going to use for this Lex. Probably not going to even bother with this one right here. And then looking at the head sculpt that's already on Stacy Keebler, this one's pretty good as well. This one has her hair down rather than pulled up in a bun. So I think this is a good head sculpt to use for her look in WWE, whereas the other one would be more of her WCW look. So I like that you could switch the heads off for her different incarnations. It looks good on the lips, the eyes, and the eyebrows. The hair is sculpted pretty well. It's just one solid color, no extra paint there, but that's okay. I think overall it looks pretty good. And then looking at the body on Stacy, she is wearing this office suit. So I keep referencing Miss Hancock because this was the attire that she wore when she was in the WWE. She didn't really wear suits. She definitely wore skirts to show off her legs. But she did wear a suit during that one uh, in-ring segment with Vince McMahon. Which now, uh, looking back at that, he was probably <laughs> reliving some of his backstage shenanigans on TV in that segment. I don't know, he seemed a little bit too excited there. The sculpting on the suit looks pretty good. Not a whole lot of detail. It's just one solid color, just black, no extra paint shadowing. Do get double jointed elbows. Collar here is painted white, a little bit of missing paint right there. Backside looks good. She's got a skirt right here, no extra detail. And then, looking down at the lower body, we get a good look at her legs, which is what she was certainly known for. So nice sculpting there. And then looking down at the feet, some nice heeled shoes there. Sculpted pretty good. Then look at Lex Luger's body, it's big and beefy, definitely showing off that he is the total package. Some good double jointed elbows there, some painted wrist tape, paint looks good. He's got some plain black trunks, no extra detail there. Plain black knee pads, and then some black boots with some red trim here. Painted pretty well, and it looks pretty good. Going over the articulation, the head is on a ball joint, and it looks pretty high up, so that's a good range there. That far down, can turn side to side, and tilt pretty well. Shoulder goes that high up, it rotates all the way around. 
There's a bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, a swivel and hinge at the wrist. He crunches that far forward, goes that far back, waist swivel, legs go that far out, that high up, thigh cut, double jointed knees, a cut at the top of the boot, ankle goes that high up, it was pretty stiff there, that far down, and some slight ankle pivot. Then looking at Stacy Keebler's articulation, the head is on a ball joint, it looks slightly up, it's pretty far down, so that's good right there, can turn side to side and tilt pretty well. And then here's the articulation on the alternate head sculpt, and here it is for Lex Luger, I forgot to show that off. She has a hinge at the shoulder, so it doesn't really go that high up. Mine's a bit stiff and gummy on both of them, so I don't know if that's how it's supposed to be or if I have to loosen this up. Bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, great range there. A swivel and hinge at the wrist. Now you can't see the diaphragm joint here because of the suit, but I do believe there's a ball peg there, so she goes that far forward and that far back. She has a waist swivel, legs go that far out. They go that high up, so limited a bit by this skirt. Double jointed knees, ankle goes that high up, that far down, and no ankle pivot. Alright, here's the new Legends 15 Lex Luger next to my custom Wolfpack Lex Luger figure. Here he is next to Legends Kevin Nash, Wolfpack Kevin Nash from the Hall of Fame 4-pack, Legends Scott Hall, Wolfpack Macho Man, and finally next to Wolfpack Sting. And now the only Wolfpack member that we are missing is Conan, but I don't think we're getting that figure anytime soon. It'd be nice if we did. Now, unfortunately, I do not have a Jack Stacy Keebler to compare the new one with or any of the other wrestlers that she managed, like Test, the Dudley Boys, Scott Steiner, but here she is next to Vince McMahon. Yeah, on second thought, we should probably keep him away from her. Alright, so what are my final thoughts on the last two figures in the Legend Series 15 wave? I think they're pretty solid. The whole reason why I picked up Lex Luger is because he's wearing his NWO red shirt, so I wanted another Wolfpack member. But the figure alone, it's pretty good. It's a nice upgrade to the previous Lex Luger figure, so I can definitely see some people wanting to pick him up as a nice upgrade. And if you missed out on Lex Luger, now's your chance to get one. And as far as Stacey Keebler goes, I think it's pretty good. I like that they chose the Miss Hancock outfit, so if you're into toy photography, you can certainly use her as a background character or civilian character. So I think these are nice figures. Do I think they're the best in the wave? No. Kane and X-Pac were certainly the best two figures out of this set. But I think these are still pretty good pickups, especially if you're a fan of this time period in wrestling. So they should be hitting Target stores now here in the U.S. Hopefully they show up in Canada. And again, it sucks for the international collectors. Hopefully you guys, if you want these, are able to get these at a reasonable price. But you know what else? is reasonable hitting that like button and subscribing if you want a chance to get a shout out in the next video leave a comment down below just like will the collector saying thank god that i said jeep is every video that talks about the monday night wars always says tank that's in reference to the xbox video in which i mentioned that'd be nice if we eventually got a jeep for that and i said it's a jeep not a tank because that's what it is check out my social media to be up to date with all my wrestling figure photography and i'll see you next time <laughs>